Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Um, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a few of the setups that I posted on my Twitter. Um, it's the Break of Black Fair Valley Gap setup. All credit to ICT for posting this stuff. Go watch his videos. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the five minute right now. The example I posted was on the one hour, and on my Twitter, um, what I posted was actually a mitigation block example, but I was finding it so quickly because I had to leave. Um, but it's it's very similar. Basically, mitigation block does not run the highs first, but a breaker block does. So here's the first example I'm gonna show you guys. So right here, this would be a breaker block example. So when we look at the model, um, let me I'm gonna pull up the model real quickly. Actually, um, let me just go to my Twitter. And then I'll pull it up so you guys can see like a side by side so it's a little easier to see. <clears throat> Alright, so right here. So right here. See how this runs the highs and then this runs the lows? Basically, a mitigation block does not run the highs or lows, so a mitigation block might go to here and then reject. And that's what I showed you in my real example on Twitter. Um, but they're very similar. I just thought I would clear that up real quick. So in this example, oh, an order block is the red candle before it not move. So in this situation, this would be the order block. This whole candle is technically the order block, okay? So this whole candle is technically the order block. And ICT has rules on, like, no, technically it's just the open to the close, like, so it would be from right here to right here. And there's different definitions of it. Technically, it is the whole order block, but the algorithms mainly get in and get out at the um, open or the 50% threshold. So, like, what I do is I draw a line at the 50%, or I draw a line to open, so right here, and that's where I enter, but... You want to see it hold like the 50% of the body right here too. I think he talks about. Um, so that is very important. And then your stop block. My stop loss is usually under the order block because if the order block isn't holding, that means your bias is probably wrong because bearish order block should hold if you're bearish. Bullish order block should hold if you're bullish. But if they don't hold, that means your bias is probably wrong. Um, so in this example, what I do is I draw a line at the open right here. Technically, with a breaker block, I with a breaker block I will actually draw like the whole candle zone because it's a little trickier with breaker blocks drawing it in the open because sometimes it might not come up to the open because there might be a fair value gap. So in this example we take the highs so right here so I just label this this for liquidity grab or you could label like an X maybe I guess. So we take the highs right here boom and then retrace market structure shift right here let me make it a little easier to see so there's your MSS and then boom we we have break a block so we broke below this order block and the end we have a fair value gap okay so this is a fair value gap and a lot of people are like well where do you get in the fair value gap if you get in here you might get stopped out because that's a four point move up from getting in here. But if there's a breaker block, that'll tell you exactly where to get in. You wanna wait till it gets to this breaker block and it might not get there every time, but at least you're being a lot safer with your entry because there's gonna be a fair value gap for confluence and a breaker block for confluence. So you like, this is a very, very high win rate setup um, because you're basically you're just waiting for both spots to target so you want it to be in the fair value gap and in the order block so in this situation you might not take it at this black line you might take it um if you draw a zone from here to here you might want to take it like right here just in case it rejects before um and then another thing you have to do is you i draw the fib from uh the recent swing high to recent swing low so right there and i make sure it's above the 50 percent why because by the 50% is premium, below is discount. So algorithms and everything else, shorts and premium, and algos long and discount. So discounts under, premiums over. So as you guys can see, it meets the model, okay? And this is the model again. Um, this is the model. So 
in this situation, it would be the bearish model. So we take the highs, we retrace, we draw the fib, it goes above the 0.5, and then boom, we hit sell side. And we look, we take the highs, retrace market structure shift, uh, retracing the sphere value gap slash order block, and then boom, we take we take sell side right here. So this would be sell side, the next swing low. Um, and sometimes there might be like sell side like right here if the bias is bearish, but that's where you're gonna have to go to your uh, other time frames and kind of see if the bias is bearish or bullish. Um, so if you're not, if you don't really have a bias, a sell side will always be the most recent swing low, okay? So that's always where you wanna sell. Um, but if you have do have a bearish bias and this is just a smaller setup inside of a bigger one, sell side might be down here for you, okay? So that's just something to take into account. Um, so I'm gonna go over one more example if I can find one real quick. Um, might take me a second. Before I started the video, I did just plan to do that one. Um, so, uh, these are actually beautiful equal highs. Um, if you guys don't know what equal highs are, they kind of act as a magnets. I think these will get ran through probably. Um, so let's see. Okay, so right here is close, but not white um, by the way guys I do try to take these only in kill zones so London which is 3 a.m. to like 5 a.m. I'll take and then New York kill zone was like 8 30 to 11 12 um, technically it's 8 30 to 12 o'clock but I like 8 30 to 11 better um, so yeah, so we have another example um, right here, kind of. So we have this green candle before the down move. So this whole candle would be your order block. So as you can see, it's in this zone. And then we also have a fair value gap right here, okay? So what do you notice? You notice that it wicks just into the breaker block and then it, it goes and it comes out of the fair value gap but the time you'd want to take this setup is right here so right here where they intersect so you'd want to enter here because it's just in the fair value gap and it's just in the breaker block so that means you're minimizing your risk because if you're just entering in the fair value gap up here it could go all the way down to this breaker block but if you're waiting for this breaker block down here like way down here it might not go in there so um that's just something you want to be aware of. Um, and let me try to find one more better example, maybe. Um, this is like an order block, um, kind of. So, okay, so right here, um, we have a market structure shift right here okay we create a bit we create a bullish fair value gap but again how do you know where to enter <clears throat> how do you know where to enter in this bullish fair value gap well you look over see if there's any breaker blocks and this right here the screen candle before this down move that would be your breaker block so you draw another zone right here and that means you want to take your entry somewhere inside this blue okay and again what do we look for we make sure it is in discount for it for longing so if we draw a fib from down here to up here okay our entry would be anywhere in this blue okay so not down here just in this not up here but when they're inner when they're intersecting right here and when it's in discount okay and then again your target would be the neck the recent swing high so right there so yes you can take fair value gaps um but like i said they're so much better when they line up with these breaker blocks like even right here this is a fair value gap right here and look what we have this red cannon before it's up move this is would be your breaker block and this is kind of very very big 
But again, the most safest entry is when these interlap. So somewhere in this zone. And see how this breakup block comes all the way up to here, but this fair belly gap only comes up to here. Your entry would be somewhere when they interlap. So it would give you this small zone versus these two giant big zones, okay? Um, and again, would this be a discount? Um, so we draw from recent swing high to recent swing low. And yes, th this would be in premium. And that's what I meant, not discount. Um, so yeah, that is basically what a breaker block is. That goes with the model. Um, remember, when you're taking fair rally gap, make like if you want to be really safe and have a really good entry, just make sure it's interlap, like intersecting with a breaker block somewhere um, for the most success. Um, but yeah. This would be a mitigation block. Why? Because it doesn't take the highs. So this would be your fair value gap. This wick does not go over this wick. If this wick went over up here, then yes, yeah, so it would be a breaker block. But this is a mitigation block because it doesn't take liquidity. Uh, but this is your mitigation block. This is your fair value gap. You take one they intercept or intersect right here, and boom, sell side down here hits. And then look, look what happens when you take sell side. Go under south side, take liquidity, boom, reverse. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, you guys understand this a little more. I'll probably go over, I'll probably make two other videos going over my other two models in case you haven't seen those yet. Um, but, yeah, if you guys want to sign up for my premium, it's just in my Discord server in my description. Uh, no pressure, though. I don't really like premiums. I'm just, I think I can make you guys money, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm pretty good at finding these setups during the day, so feel free to do that if you want. It's pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I'll keep I will continue to keep up on these videos for free. Um, all ICT's content is free. That'll never be paid. That's kind of really dumb for people to make that paid. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.